Hello again, this is Justinas, and in this video we will be looking further into the functionality of Hydrostatics Calculator for SOLIDWORKS, developed by Floatsoft. If you just got here, check the link below the video to watch the first part of this tutorial. The last mode in our list, the Simulation mode, helps you find the answer to a seemingly simple practical question. If I move the center of gravity to a particular part of the hull, how will it float? In the essence, this mode will check the location of the center of mass that you entered in these fields over here, and try to adjust the heel and trim angles, as well as the draft, until these two points converge on top of one another within a reasonable error margin. Hydrostatics Calculator will make up to 50 attempts to find a solution, after which it will either display the results or admit a failure. Beware that this is a very complicated physics simulation and can take a very long time to complete. Increasing the precision value in the settings menu will speed it up at the expense of accuracy of the solution. In this example, I will set the center of gravity a bit closer to the stern and the port side as if to simulate a crew member walking to the railing to do some fishing. Let's see how the boat will behave. As you can see, the selected center of gravity caused some port heel as well as some negative trim. You can use this mode in a similar way to check the impact of a specific cargo placement, design ballast tanks and so on. Before ending this tutorial, I would also like to talk about the learning algorithm that I briefly mentioned in the previous tutorial. Hydrostatics Calculator features a learning algorithm which gradually memorizes the whole shape. While the first few operations might be a little slow when you test the hull for the first time, you will notice a definite improvement in performance with each subsequent operation. This will be especially noticeable in operations which require the Hydrostatics Calculator to solve a scenario based on a displacement figure. The learning algorithm creates a memory file next to the application executable and the configuration file using the SOLIDWORKS module name and a .mem extension. This concludes the fourth and the final tutorial for the Hydrostatics Calculator for SOLIDWORKS. Hopefully, these tutorials helped you familiarize yourself with the basic usage of this program. The application possibilities of Hydrostatics Calculator are vast. You can use this tool to check at what heel angle your sailboat will start taking on water, to determine the water plane surface area of your powerboat, to find the optimal trim angle to maximize or minimize your prismatic coefficient, to determine how the location of the maximum cross-sectional area shifts when your boat trims, to see how likely your transom will be flooded if you go aft on your boat to tend to the motor, and so on. If you want to know more, check out the user manual on our website, which expands on this tutorial as well as provides some backstage information about the hydrostatics calculator and how you can make the most out of it.